Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here at Midweb Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So I wanted to show you, give you a simple technique um, that you can use to give your website more depth. Now, this is a standard website that I normally would create or a standard, standard layout that I normally create for all my websites, which you have the logo on the left, navigation bar, and then I have this thing called, which what I would call the billboard, okay? Same here, this is another website created logo, navigation, and then my billboard. And But sometimes what I would do, I would say 90% of my, my layouts are, look similar to this, this style. But in some cases, here's another website I created recently. And in some cases, my billboard, because, you know, instead of having a static image, sort of like that, or like this, I might use some flash here to give it more depth or to get to bring the page to life, sort of like this. You know, here's another approach, or here's newcars.com, and I use some flash right in this corner to give the site more depth. So when a user would come to the to the site, their eye is drawn to this section and then, you know, they take action. Same with this site here, Broadcaster. Here's a little flash component here. What a nice little slideshow and some moving text. Really simple stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to uh, just create a simple flash slideshow. If you know, if you're not familiar with Flash, this will be a quick tutorial that'll show you how to to kind of do something like this. All right. Get your images. Go to isocphoto.com download your images and then crop your images to a size that you want to fit within your site okay that's the first thing so in this case these images are 500 by 500 width by 226 in height just for this example so once you have your three images right over here in your in your folder uh, jump over to Flash. This is Flash 8 that I'm using. So, but you can. This is a pretty simple slideshow that you can do in any Flash version. The first thing you want to do is create your dimensions: 500 by 260. Okay. Once you have that, go over to File, Import, and import your images to the library okay so import them to library and then you have your layers over here and it's a little insert layer just go ahead and <coughs> excuse me create three layers and you can name them if you want to you can double click and name them each one but the first thing you want to do is grab a, go over here and click on your image just go ahead and drag that to the canvas and then your X and Y coordinates, you just want to zero those out so that your image is to the flush to the to the top left corner. Okay. Also go ahead and make your frame rate down here 25. And so what you want to do is click on your image that you just downloaded or you just dragged to the canvas. Go ahead and click F8. What that does is convert this image to a symbol, and then you want to choose graphic. Okay, just create. Go ahead and create it to a symbol. So that's the first one. You can just go ahead and hide that one, and you want to do another image. Let's do this kitchen, just as an example. I'm sorry. So go ahead and select the second layer. Go ahead and get your other image. Just go ahead and drag that one down. And for this one, you go ahead and do zero out the X and Y coordinates. Click on that. And then click on the image. Select the image. And then click on F8. Again, you want to convert that one to a symbol. Okay, so now you have two images. And um, in this case, we're going to just do two images. I'm just going to show you how to rotate these two images. So all you do is go over here and drag click and drag down 
so that you can highlight these these frames these got frames and then go ahead and click F5 on your keyboard so that's just gonna add keyframes to your to your timeline here and then the first one here you wanna go ahead and select like you know on the 40th frame just click that one and then you're gonna click F6 oops that was F8 go ahead and click F6 that creates a uh, keyframe there and then with your mouse right click in the middle of these two points and then you want to do create motion tween okay so then go ahead and click this point and then go ahead and select the image and then down here under color you want to go to alpha and you want to make sure this is zero percent so what you did was you just created a tween that will now take your image from from 100 percent down to zero percent tween and as you notice because your other image here is in the background as the first image fades out your image in the background starts to appear okay so go ahead and drag over here drag your mouse just to create hit click F5 just to add more keyframes and then so what you're gonna do you're gonna come over here to the 80th frame and then you wanna do for the second layer or I'm sorry let's go back over here to the first layer and you wanna do a right click in this section and you wanna insert blank keyframe that will sort of delete all the extra frames at the top here on your top layer so on your second layer just go ahead and select the 80th frame click on F6 and then just you know do about 40 frames or so click F6 again With your mouse right click create motion tween and then right here you want to select that keyframe select your image go down here to color do alpha and again you want to zero it out zero out the alpha but what happens is you need to have an image that goes under here as well because right now it's just fading to white so what I can do is I can go over here right click copy frame select my third layer now I want to then click or put or select F6 to create a keyframe then I want to right click and do paste frame so now that just paste the first image at the bottom here and then I go right click and I remove tween so I just remove that so what it does when I fade this image out it fades back to this first image that I had in the layer so that's pretty much it so what you get to do here just do you can just do a preview just do control enter and what you see is your your image fading going through the timeline so basically basically you have this action going on so if you hit enter here your timeline runs and it runs through your image and what it's going to do by default it'll just repeat so if you do control enter just to preview again what it does when it gets to the end of the timeline it just goes back to the to the first keyframe and just repeats okay so that's pretty much it at that point you just do file export I'm sorry, no file I export. You get to just do, um, you just do, you first you're going to save this FLA file somewhere. And then what you want to do is just do file publish. And then you take your, you take your HTML flash file and add it to your, to your HTML page. So that's pretty much it. 
Um, I probably jumped over a few steps that uh, may be a little confusing if you're just getting started with Flash, but if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlfco.com, and um, I'll be happy to answer. We'll talk soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.